All right, friends, I'm Wesley Stratton, American Benefit Services. I wanted to give you this video. Now that we're on the other side of AEP, I wanted to do a breakdown on my success, this AEP, the products I sold, uh, the place, how I marketed myself, and most importantly, how much I made. All right, so let's jump into it. So I wanna talk about the, the sales I did. I had, a, I had my best AEP ever. I lit it up, I worked my tail off, but I did a ton of sales, I made a bunch of money. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the products I sold, how much I made, how much money I invested into, into doing it, and a little bit of, of the marketing and places where I did my events. So let's jump in. So total, 206 sales, 86 Medicare Advantage, 42 Medicare supplements, 23 dental vision hearing plans. I love dental vision hearing, you guys gotta sell it. 42 PDPs, four annuities, 10 life insurance policies. All in, that is 206 sales. So I talk about this all the time, right? There's, there's some things I will stand on my pedestal, I will talk about, cross-selling is one of them. So with the people that I sat down with, I, I looked at their needs and I didn't see 206 people. Those, those people I sat down with, I sold multiple products. And I, and I want to show you guys how to do it. It is not tough. So it's those clients. There's, there's great cross-selling opportunities with those clients. So let's break it down on how much I made per product. So let's just take a roundabout number for Medicare Advantage because some of it is new to Medicare which you make about $600 new to Medicare, and you make about $300 if they already have a Medicare Advantage plan. So let's just say roundabout, I'm making about $400 per app. So I made about $34,000 on my Medicare Advantage sales. Medicare supplement, I did 42 Medicare supplement plans, and on average I made about $375. That translates to about $15,000 on Medicare supplement. Like I said, dental vision hearing. You guys have to sell dental vision hearing. I have great carriers for you, great products, and they actually pay great commissions. So I wrote 23 dental vision hearing policies times 450 bucks. I made a little bit over $10,000 on my dental vision hearing sales. PDP, you have to sell PDP. One of the, the, the ways I'm able to, to have conversations with people is by value. And one of the places I, I create value is saving them money on the prescription drug cost. And when I save money on prescription drug costs, that allows me to talk about their Medicare, their life insurance, and annuities. So reviewing people's drug plans are so important. I didn't make as much money on PDP, but I still made $2,100. That's, that's not bad. Next is final expense life insurance. I sold 10, I could have done better than that. Uh, so I made about $800 per sale, which translates to $8,000. Pretty good, I'm happy about that. And I also sold four annuities. So I made $32,000 on my annuities, which is awesome. And I also have probably about four or five I'm still working on from AEP, that 10 week stretch in AEP. And hopefully I'll close you know, two or three of them. You make great money on those, on those annuities. So again, I use Medicare, Medicare Supplements and Medicare Advantage and, and Part D to make connections with people, to help them save money, to, um, to really help them, and that is my door opener for all these other products. You add them all together, you cross sell, and my grand total for AEP, which I'm really excited about, so happy about, I made $102,300 for AEP, which is my best ever in the 10 week span of AEP. I wanna show you guys this, that on top of my, my sales, there are other places to make income. So there's incentives that you may have from carriers or little bonuses. So let's add Allstate. I love selling Allstate's Medicare supplement, great brand name recognition. So Allstate right now is doing a bonus on their Medicare supplement sales. So I did 28 Allstate policies and they paid me a $200 bonus on top of my sales. So I, I made an extra $5,600 on my Allstate business, which is awesome. The other thing is, guys, you have to be doing HRAs on your Medicare Advantage business. So I, I, I suppose I probably did on all my Medicare Advantage business, probably I did an HRA on 90% of them. 
So on average, you're gonna, you're gonna make about $75 on your HRAs. I did about 77 HRAs, which translates to $5,775. So let's add that to my total. My total for AEP is $113,675 in 10 weeks. It's, it, I worked my butt off, but I made a great income and you guys can do it too. I'm telling you, you can do it too. I told you some numbers and I'm telling you, I'm not saying this to brag. I am telling you this because you can do it too. Your backyard is one of the best places. Your community is one of the best places for you to market yourself. And we wanna show you how to do it. I know there are a lot of other FMOs out there that are telling you to, 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 to buy leads. I still think it's okay to buy leads. Um, maybe to supplement what you're doing on the, on the grassroots side. Um, but I'm telling you, if your FMO is not really teaching you how to, to utilize your backyard to market yourself, you're missing the picture. I didn't spend a ton of money on, on marketing this year, but you saw how much I made. And I'm telling you, we want to teach you, equip you, and show you how to do the exact same, th exact, exact same thing. It's really not that tough. So speaking of marketing, let's talk about where I did my marketing, how much I spent on marketing, and, um, and some, other, some other total costs. So where I found the most success was doing events. So senior centers, independent living, community centers, VFWs, places like that. They're all over, they're all over your backyard. Those are where I did it. And I found my most success doing little simple events where I would spend $50 on maybe an ice cream social or pizza party. Those events, they, were, they yielded the best results for me this AEP. I also tried to get a little creative, I got a little cute, and I did fish fries. I spent a lot of money on those. Um, I got a good return on my investment, but the, the, the investment I did and the, the events I did of the, the, the community centers where I did the ice cream socials and, thing, and things like that, those actually yielded better results and I spent way less money. So I spent, you know, maybe $50 on those events and I spent on some of those fish fries, maybe like 500 to a thousand to maybe one I did even $1,500. So, so if you wanna do those, you can still do them. I still more than made my money back, but um, if you, you know, I think you can really do very well doing just your, your simple ice cream socials and pizza parties at these places. I also spent $3,000 on direct mail. And personally, you know, we, we worked that direct mail and getting those people on the phone for me, it, it kind of got me away from, from working the, the, the leads I got from those events. So I ended up giving all of those leads away. I don't think I, I made any sales, but I gave them all the, way, all the way to an agent here in Charleston, and he did great with them. So I'm, I'm telling you, you can still do uh, direct mail. I just had a lot of success with uh, these events, and I know you will too. So my total cost on my... Uh, on my marketing was $7,915, which is pretty good considering I'm, I, I netted, I'm sorry, I grossed $113,675. I mean, that is, that is awesome. So my total, my net on AEP, I spent $7,915 on marketing and I made $105,760 oh, $105, in 10 weeks. That's awesome. Guess what? AEP is only 10 weeks of the year. You also have OEP and you have lock-in. And we wanna talk about strategies to do this year round. I made six figures in 10 weeks. I wanna show you guys how to take the rest of the year and just have a great marketing system and a great income. So guys, let me tell you, don't spend, don't break the bank on leads. Don't break the bank on, on Facebook ads and buying aged leads and all these places where people are promising you the world and the lead cost is crazy expensive. They're making money off of you, off of those leads. Do yourself a favor, spend 50 bucks on ice cream, connect with us and go in your, into your community and you will kill it. So guys, you gotta do something for me. You have to like and you have to, you have to subscribe to our channel because we put up great content. Our job is to support you. If you have an FMO or someone you're working with that doesn't support you like this or really give you ways 
pointed ways to grow your business, they're not doing, your, doing you service. So we want to work with you. We want to help you. We want to support you. And we also thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Take care.